All right, everybody. Today we're working on a project for the pig pen that I just finished up the other day. We're uh, going to build a stand for their watering system. Uh, plan is to use the IBC tote. We'll make a set of, kind of like a set of stilts for it. Picked up two eight foot four by fours, uh, eight foot two by sixes, a ten foot two by six, and then some decking boards for the top. We're going to get this cut out. So since I'm uh, only making this four foot tall, I've got an eight foot four by four here. Most dimensional lumber is a little bit oversized, so I've just measured from the ends, four foot from this end, and then also four foot from this end. Uh, because I want the factory side on the ground because it has more treatment. It's soaked in to the bottom where it's gonna be sitting on the ground than just cutting this end off here and putting one of these ends on the ground. Alright, so we got all our post cut and notched out for our rim joists to sit on. That way it uh, transfers the load down through the post and not just with lag bolts or anything like that. I prefer to do it this way. Seems like a little bit better joint last over time. So we got these cut. We just need to cut our tuba sixes for our uh, rim joist or our band and uh, get that all squared up and start putting it together. So I think this is going to be easier to build upside down for right now, at least to get these legs and stuff on. Since we're on this concrete floor.
all right so we got this moved outside we got our legs under and our joists put on uh, just went ahead and added a couple more joists to the side two in the middle and one on this side uh, so I just need to get some cross bracings put on to help stabilize the legs a little bit better and I think I'm gonna go ahead and lay just uh, maybe three decking boards across the top uh, just to give it uh, or just to make it a little bit easier to put that tote on and off with the tractor if I need to so I'm gonna get that put on and uh, I think this will be done and we can load it up and take it down to the pig pen So we got it loaded a little bit heavy but not too bad <clears throat> we gotta go pick up our ibc tote over at the barn get it loaded we'll take them down to the pig pen and uh, get it leveled out see if we can't get that tote set on top and uh, i guess we'll be ready All right, so we got the stand down here and uh, the water tote put on it. We just transferred some water. It's sitting up there. We got pretty good pressure on our little float valve and our tank. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. The tote that I've used is a little bit smaller than the one that I measured to build my stand off of, but I think it'll hold it just fine. We just filled up uh, an, an extra tote that we had uh, from the house, brought it down here and just used a transfer pump to pump it in up top. It works pretty good for right now. And I think what I'm gonna do here for the water tote, so they don't try to uh, 
root it up or flip it over or anything is I'm going to take a, a piece of this uh, wire and hook it on to probably the middle strand here. And I'm going to attach it with an insulator about in the middle there and across the top just so it gives it some current, just so the pigs won't try to get in there and lay in it and stuff. And uh, we'll see how that works. We'll keep y'all updated on that, see if it's uh, working out good or not. So, as soon as we get the hogs, we'll uh, let them loose in here and see how they like it. <laughs> 